Australian police call it the miracle they were hoping for. The pre-dawn rescue of four-year-old Cleo Smith, found safe and sound 18 days after she first went missing. An ordeal that began at this remote camping site on October 16th. Cleo's mother says on the first morning of a family camping trip, she woke up to find her daughter gone. The tent was completely um, open. It was about 30 centimeters from being open. And I mean, I turned around to Jake and, and I just said, like, Cleo's gone. The child's disappearance triggered a manhunt that spread nationwide. The state government offering a million Australian dollar reward for information, echoed by desperate appeals from Cleo's family. Really all we need is a little go home. Police announced they solved the mystery early Wednesday morning. The outcome that is, was achieved at about 1 a.m. this morning, uh, when four officers went in and broke down the door and found little Cleo in a room. And as you can see, she's alive, she's safe, and she's back with mum and dad. Police found her alone in this house in her family's hometown of Carnarvon, some 30 miles or 48 kilometers from the camping site. You know, I just wanted to be absolutely sure that, um, you know, it certainly looked like Cleo. Um, I wanted to be absolutely sure it was her, so I said, what's your name? And she didn't answer, and I said, what's your name? Um, <laughs> She didn't answer again, so I asked for a third time and then she looked at, and looked at me and she said, my name's Cleo. Yes. Police say Cleo was physically unharmed and reunited soon after with her parents. Police have a 36-year-old man who is unrelated to Cleo's family currently in custody. They say they expect to press charges for what they describe as an opportunistic abduction soon. The rescue, which officials describe as the result of a hard police grind involving 140 police officers, is now being celebrated across the country. But most importantly, by her parents. Cleo's mother, Ellie, announcing, our family is whole again. Ivan Watson, CNN.